Good evening. Metro Trains is planning a radical overhaul of Melbourne's rail services. The plans are revealed in secret documents leaked to Seven State political reporter Brendan Donoghue. He's at Flinders Street Station tonight and Brendan, what do the documents show? Well, Peter, there will be a dramatic increase in the number of services from April, especially on the weekends. But the downside is that Metro Trains is planning to run slower services so that it can hit its timetable targets. It's Metro Trains' secret new timetable to be launched from April, but revealed by Seven News tonight. And it's a bittersweet story for the 400,000 people who use the rail system. The good news, under the timetable codename Greenfields 2A, there'll be an extra 353 services per week, but the majority of them, 283, will be on Saturdays and Sundays. On weekends, the Frankston, Dandenong and Ringwood lines will run daytime trains every 10 minutes to Flinders Street. Weekdays get 70 new services or 14 per day. I think the important thing is higher frequency trains, less crowding, more punctual. But the bad news, despite increasing passenger numbers, there'll be just two extra peak hour trains on weekdays, both on the busiest line, Hurstbridge. And on every line bar the Williamstown shuttle, the weekend train journeys will take longer, up to five minutes more on the Pakenham and Hurstbridge lines. Slowing down trains is like burning money. We should be speeding up the trains so as to carry more people. We've got to get to work on time and then if the train is late, it makes things really hard for us. Honestly very frustrated but there's not a lot we can do. Critics say slowing the trains is a deliberate strategy to allow Metro and the Bowyer government to hit its punctuality targets. It is a bit of a con uh, in terms of uh, you know, bumping out the figures to, uh, to suit the, um, the operator. And because there'll be more trains running on Saturdays and Sundays, the document says there'll be no need to run special trains to clear the football crowds from the MCG, unless the crowd is expected to be more than 60,000. That means special services will run for most finals and blockbusters like the Anzac Day Clash. Brendan Donoghue, 7 News.